In the mid-90s, a dazzling and talented figure emerged in the world of entertainment, Monica Bellucci, captivating everyone with her stunning beauty. She was born on September 30, 1964, in the beautiful Italian city of Citta di Castello. Initially, Bellucci pursued a career as a model before becoming one of the most acclaimed and admired actresses of her generation. In 1943, Ava Gardner, one of the most enchanting actresses of the golden age of Hollywood, was enjoying the peak of her career and radiant beauty. She was born on December 24, 1922, in the city of Grabtown, North Carolina. Over time, Gardner became a cinema icon, revered for her remarkable beauty and talent. In the year 1910, we find hunters in a cabin in Alaska. These individuals were dedicated to the activity of capturing animals, mainly with the aim of obtaining their furs or other valuable resources. In the month of January 1939, within the small community of La Forge Farms in the state of Missouri, a one-room schoolhouse welcomed 28 enthusiastic students eager to seek knowledge. This school, situated in a rural setting, played a crucial role in the education of that agricultural community. In the 1980s, a young and talented actress named Michelle Pfeiffer emerged, standing out as one of the stars of Hollywood. Pfeiffer's performances were notable for her exceptional ability to express a variety of emotions. She effortlessly transitioned between dramas, comedies, and action films, showcasing her versatility in adapting to different cinematic genres. In the month of April 1987, a memorable encounter took place at the renowned Ivor Novello Awards between two music legends, Freddie Mercury and Annie Lennox. The event was held at the sophisticated Grosvenor House, located in the heart of London, providing the perfect setting to celebrate musical talent and honor the achievements of these artists. In the year 1870, in Japan, we can observe a vegetable vendor traversing the lively streets of a traditional town. Dressed in a modest kimono, he delicately carries a woven wicker basket filled with fresh and colorful vegetables. This image, captured by Kusakabe Kimbei, a renowned Japanese photographer of the time, immortalizes the vegetable vendor amidst an urban setting. In the 1960s, summers were characterized by a revolutionary and daring fashion. One of the most distinctive elements of this era was the mini skirts, which became an icon of women's liberation and the subversion of social norms. In addition to mini skirts, Dresses also expressed the spirit of 1960s fashion. The Dinosphere, affectionately nicknamed Jumbo and created in 1932, was an extraordinary vehicle conceived by Purves, a visionary inventor who believed that this innovation could revolutionize the transportation industry. Although the Dinosphere garnered significant attention and curiosity at the time, unfortunately, it did not achieve the expected commercial success. In the early 1930s, Rita Hayworth began her career as a dancer in nightclubs, leveraging her Latin heritage and ballet talent. Her unique style and innate sensuality quickly caught the attention of film producers. It was in 1939 that she achieved her first prominent role in the film Only Angels Have Wings, starring alongside Cary Grant. In the year 1930, the Hunter brothers achieved a remarkable feat by completing an impressive 23-day flight without landing. This extraordinary accomplishment was made possible thanks to the experienced mechanical engineer, Kenneth Hunter, who played a vital role in conducting mid-air mechanical checks, ensuring that the aircraft remained in perfect condition throughout the entire challenge. During the 1980s, Sylvester Stallone emerged as one of the leading stars of Hollywood. His iconic portrayal of Rocky Balboa in the Rocky franchise propelled him to fame, showcasing his undeniable talent as an actor and screenwriter. The saga of the boxer fighting against all odds served as inspiration to millions of people and brought worldwide recognition to Stallone. In the year 1914, the delivery of mail was a challenging and vital task that relied on the use of horses. The Postal Service played an essential role in communication and the flow of information, with efficient and reliable delivery being an absolute priority to ensure that messages and packages reached their correct destination. 
In the year 1969, a historic photograph captured the majestic Niagara Falls from a surprising and unusual perspective without water. This radical change occurred due to a joint project undertaken by authorities from the United States and Canada, aiming to study and assess the stability of the rocks forming the foundation of the falls. In the 1960s, Shirley and Field, a talented British actress, gained prominence in the film industry. In addition to her success on the big screen, she also earned recognition in television, participating in acclaimed productions that further strengthened her career. Her talent and beauty made her a prominent figure throughout the United Kingdom. The image portrays Annie, a woman belonging to the Wenatchee or Nez Perce tribe, around 1905. Seated, she tenderly holds a baby in her arms. Her facial features reveal a combination of serenity and pride, reflecting her deep connection to her culture and heritage. The baby in the cradle is wrapped in a skillfully handwoven blanket adorned with traditional patterns and vibrant colors. In the year 1957, in the city of Tiburon, California, an extraordinary event was about to take place. A majestic Victorian house was set to be transported via sea. Located along the shores of the San Francisco Bay, this historic and grand house was ready to embark on a new journey to a distant location. In 1955, Eugene Polly invented the Zenith Flashmatic, the first wireless remote control. His invention came from his frustration with TV commercials. This remote had only one button, which was used to power on and off, change channels up or down, and mute the sound. The photonic technology of the Flashmatic represented a significant innovation in television, enabling the transmission of wireless signals, previously exclusive to radio. In 1916, Arthur Clarence Pillsbury was photographed on the hood of a Studebaker 6 at Glacier Point in Yosemite National Park, California. To enable this pose, a local carpenter built a special easel to position the car. During the 1990s, Sofia Vergara emerged as one of the most stunning and talented personalities in the entertainment industry. In addition to her captivating beauty, Sofia Vergara showcased exceptional acting talent. She began her career in soap operas in Colombia, where she quickly captured the hearts of the audience and became a beloved star. In the year 1934, Coca-Cola astonished the world by unveiling its impressive vending truck, a true innovation for its time. With a sleek and modern design, this vehicle was a captivating sight on the roads of that era. The 1934 Coca-Cola vending truck was meticulously crafted to attract attention and pique the interest of everyone who witnessed its presence. Three Burmese women, elegantly dressed in traditional attire that reflects the rich culture of their people. With grace, they showcase the charming brass rings adorning their necks and legs, which are a symbol of beauty, tradition, and connection to their community. These rings are believed to protect women from evil spirits, as well as represent status and respect within Padong society. In the year 1954, Marilyn Monroe established an iconic collaboration with renowned director Billy Wilder, creating one of the most celebrated partnerships in the history of cinema. The result of this union was the film The Seven Year Itch, released in 1955. The movie was a tremendous box office success, further solidifying Marilyn Monroe's career as one of the greatest stars of her time. In the year 1972, on the bustling streets of London, the stunning British model Jenny Clare posed alongside her gleaming Mini. The Mini, with its compact and stylish design, seemed tailor-made for the beautiful British model. With its curved lines and perfect proportions, the car personified the elegance and European style that Jenny exemplified with finesse. In addition to her success as an actress, Jodie Foster in the 1990s was known for her involvement in social and political causes. She raised her voice in defense of human rights, gender equality, and justice. Her strong stance and commitment to her convictions made her an inspirational role model for many. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel and leave a like.